Hello, and welcome to Eyes on the Solar System. This is a game uh, made by NASA. Well, not really a game, more like a um, a tool, or maybe not even a tool. A game tool! Okay, so it is kind of a cool thing. Uh, so you can basically zoom to different um, spacecraft and planets. So let's go to Mercury here, start it off. I guess we'll go along the planets and whatever. Um, uh, I keep having these brain farts, man. Whatever satellites we find or probes. So this is Mercury. Here's Messenger. It's a uh, satellite. And it's pretty cool. I, I think the things are pretty well animated. And um, there's some other cool stuff. Like you can do size comparisons to like a car or a school bus or, or a or a stadium uh, or a person so yeah uh, that's what you can do it's pretty cool um, next up from Mercury you wanna go to let's see here I wish I wish to to return to Mercury alright from Mercury you wanna go to Venus I guess Hello. Hello. So, uh, Venus, the very, the hottest planet of them all. You'd assume, well, you know, Mercury's the hottest because they're closest to the sun. Well, that's kind of true and kind of not. Venus is almost exactly the same size as the Earth, but it, that's where the comparison stops. It has a sulfuric acid atmosphere. And, um, it's not very life hospitable. The atmosphere is sulfuric acid. The temperatures are, like, are, like, ridiculously hot, uh, everywhere. And so from here, Venus, I guess, I go to Earth! Earth has a lot of satellites, man. Get ready. And actually, Venus, um, back in the 60s or 70s, um, Russia sent a couple probes there, and they only survived on the surface for like two hours, and they only managed to send back a couple pictures. So there's our beautiful planet. Uh, so we got a lot of satellites here, and I'm not going to go through all of them. So this is probably like an internet satellite. Um... EO1. What's EO1? Probably just another internet satellite. Or no, this is uh, one of the the um, satellite cops. Occasionally, when satellites get too low, there are cop satellites like this one that tell it, "Okay, you need to start uh, going higher up so that you don't crash yourself." Ooh, what's this? Hello. Would you load? Oh my gosh, this is a weird looking satellite. It must be pretty old. Uh, can't even find the Earth, man. Where'd it go? Earth! Where'd you go? Hello? Hello, Earth. Um. Hello? Earth to Earth. I'm marooned in space! Okay, hang on. I can totally find it. I'm gonna find it. That's Earth? Oh, this must be a probe. Okay, never mind. So, yeah. Next from Earth, you wanna go to Mars if I can find it. Mars should be right around there. Oops. Okay. Let's take this out. Um, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is just, uh, mapping out the Martian surface of Mars. Curiosity is on the other side. The other side. Uh, how do I get out of this? Hello? Okay. Uh, this is kind of weird. Can can I like? 
Alright, this is good. Alright, I can go to the Odyssey. Odyssey! Um, yep, that's pretty cool. And curiosity, I want to go to Curiosity Man. Alright, just hang on a second. Gosh. Okay. Curiosity landed in that uh, crater. So that's pretty cool. Can I not go to it? Oh no, I can go to it. Okay, cool. Oh, here's the rover. That's so cool. That's pretty cool. Now... I noticed there are some features, so let's do the curiosity entry, uh, landing and descent. Let's do that. How do I? Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. All right. So this is the the heat shield and the solar panels that power it before it starts getting close. So let's speed it up a little bit, and that thing flies off the back, and then it starts its entry. Um, it's going, um, well, it's going pretty fast. In real life, it's going 47,000 miles an hour. So let's keep going here a little bit. And the heat shield will start going. Yep. All right, let's go back to real rate, or slightly faster. All right, and the heat shield starts feeling the heat of the carbon dioxide atmosphere that Mars has. Uh, yep. All right, and then it's gonna pop off the heat shield soon. Or no, it doesn't pop off the heat shield yet. I don't think. I think it. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> what's this? Cruise ballast. What is that? Not sure. Okay. All righty. And pretty soon here, it's getting quite low. So it's going to start. So once it is directly over that landing site, it's going to deploy the parachutes. The chutes! Chutes. Alright. The heat shield has stopped glowing because it's lost velocity in the thicker atmosphere farther down. And pretty soon here, the parachutes are going to deploy once it's over the landing site. Let's go a little faster. Alright. Wobble. Alright, let's experience. It's dropping some ballast. Uh, not sure what that's about because I'm not a rocket scientist. Getting over the landing site here, and it has deployed. Parachute. Alright, that's pretty cool. Get to the chute. And I actually had some trouble with the parachute in testing, because it fell apart once, but they couldn't get it to do again do it again in trials. So that they could figure out what the problem was. So I can go to the heat shield actually. gonna do some cool stuff when it gets slower. So let's start descending. Okay, getting close and, and real right. Oh, let's, let's go back. Right. Oh gosh. It's a, it's a very precarious game. Catches from that, and that's the, just the shell. And now it has like a little, a little lander thing attached to it that holds on to the actual. And so as it gets closer here, the roof part will descend by and then this will fly up and away.
actually, you know what? I want to teleport to that. Can I do that? Yeah. And now it's just kind of flying off. Bye. And then it kind of crashes to the surface here. Bam. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed uh, this very short and, and fun video. And I will see you in the next one, if there ever is a next one. Bye.